It's a joy to meet with you again today, and I trust that you are enjoying the presence of the Lord. Now, these days are beginning to add up, and I just saw some reports this morning on how it's beginning to affect people emotionally, and even though we know the Lord, uh, we are made of the same stuff, and it can certainly affect us. Uh, many of you with children at home have new pressures. You have education concerns. Uh, those of you that are by yourself are really isolated. Uh, there are just so many different scenarios that I know are represented by those that are watching uh, this time together. And I do want to be an encouragement to you from the Word of God. And so my thought today is that God has promised to give us peace, but that peace comes as we determine we're not going to live with anxiety. The only way we can ever get discouraged is to let anxiety overtake us. And the very well-known verse, uh, verse 6 of chapter 4 of Philippians, which speaks of having the mind of Christ, is such an important verse. Verse 6 says, Be careful or be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And I want to encourage you, if you're beginning to feel anxious, things that you think you ought to be doing and maybe you feel like you're wasting your time you're not in your regular routine uh, there are uh, tasks that seem to be unfulfilled or things maybe you think that you could do because you have a different schedule and yet those aren't being done and you are finishing a day uh, just with a lack of satisfaction and and you're troubled in your spirit well this verse really does apply to us right now be anxious for nothing and what's the solution Bring everything to the Lord in prayer. And this is not just praying about it, but praying for wisdom so that God can direct your steps. I highly encourage you to start your day with a strong time of prayer and then to ask God in that prayer time for wisdom for that day. Don't make your task list, <clears throat> don't set up your schedule until you have really quieted your soul before the Lord and had a significant time with him and be in the word and then go ahead and schedule out your day. And you'll be amazed that the wisdom that God has promised will be yours. And as you do that, as you take the things that are pressuring you, and that's what you need to note, what is pressuring me? Well, as you take the things that are pressuring you, list them out, decide when you're going to do those, that you will find if you're praying the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus it's a wonderful promise that you can have the very peace of God so I encourage you today as things may be bearing down on you you're finding yourself a little discouraged it's probably partially because of anxiety not feeling like you're really doing all that you need to do well give it to the Lord take some extended time and then let God give you priorities and give you a schedule. And then by God's grace, fulfill as much of that as you can and just rest in the Lord and the peace of God will flood your heart. What a savior we have. We're not like the world. He is with us. We're not alone and we can trust him for guidance. May God give you days that are productive, not filled with anxiety, but filled with the peace of God.